this is the kinematic lesson. Uh, today we'll be learning how to find out displacement by calculating it through velocity time graph. These are the learning objectives. We'll be trying to find displacement for the motion with uh, uniform velocity and uniform acceleration. These are some of our prior knowledge. Mm. So just some revision. So if a truck is traveling at a constant speed of 60 km per hour, if we use the distance travel equals to sp uh, speed multiplied by the time taken, we can come up with the following table to find out the distance traveled by a truck. So this is relatively simple. So if it's one hour, it's 60 km, two hour, 120, three hour, 180, and four hour, 240 km. Graphically, if we try to plot the graph for a uh, speed time graph for this truck, it's simply just constant 60 km per hour over the 4 hours. Mm, you realize that uh, why do I structure it uh, in the previous table is to help you to understand that um, actually the uh, the distance for travel 1 km, uh, one hour is actually 60 multiplied by 1. You get this area. okay? And for 120 is of course 60 multiplied by 2. and so on. So 60 multiplied by 3, 180, 60 multiplied by 4, 240. Essentially by using the speed time for uh, uh sorry the distance time uh, distance formula is actually tra uh, is actually using uh, 60 and multiply by the time taken. Um, if the object is traveling at a constant speed of velocity it's possible to calculate the distance of the object by just finding the rectangular area under the speed time graph. So this method of course will also work if let's say uh, the speed is not maintained at 60 but changes at different timings. If for example if the speed is uh, 60 for first hour, 20 for second hour, 40 for third hour and then 80 for the last hour, um, you can also use this method okay, by calculating 60 multiplied by 1 so this is 60 20 multiplied by 1 is 20 and this is 40 multiplied by 1 is 40 and this is 80 multiplied by 1 is 80 so you add them up all the distance you will get 240 so it is still area under the graph okay, except that of course the area is different for each hour you may ask that uh, for this previous practice question it's first still possible to calculate the distance traveled by the truck using uh, the formula Okay, it's still 60 multiplied by 1 and uh, 20 multiplied by 1 and so on and so forth. So why do we want to go through the trouble of to calculate the distance through uh, finding the area under the velocity or the speed time graph? It's simply because there's a limitation when you use uh, the formula. Uh, you find that you cannot use the formula if the speed or velocity of the object is constantly changing. Which means that if whenever the object has an acceleration, you cannot use the formula to find the distance or the displacement. In other words, uh, you can only use the formula if the velocity is uniform or flat line uh, for the velocity time graph. Okay, what I meant by acceleration, um, so this is the profile. You find that there's, uh, the object is always changing its velocity uh, for air on every time. Okay, and it is uh, from 0 to 2 to 4, 6, 8, 12 and it is called constantly changing all the time. How do we actually then find displacement? Okay, We can actually e estimate it to something like this 0, then we estimate to be uh, flat line 2, we estimate it to be flat line 4, we estimate to be flat line 6 and 8. So this is one way that you can try to estimate the distance or the displacement travel. So this is what I meant. You can try to calculate the distance okay, by estimating it to be this. But you realize that this is actually of course an underestimation of the displacement. Or alternatively, you can overestimate it. That means that instead of this line, you you think that you think that it is 
this and then and then you have the this velocity time profile of course realize that the issue is that this would overestimate the distance so for now you find that the in order for you to calculate the displacement for this object with a constant acceleration you simply just need to find the area under the graph so the displacement of this object is uh, simply the area under the graph velocity time graph which is this is of course a triangular shape it's just half times base times height and you find that the base is uh, 5 and the height is 10 okay, and the distance will be 25 meters calculation of displacement can be always be obtained by finding the area under the velocity time graph it is true even if the velocity time graph is a curve or any other weird shapes simply displacement is the area under the graph of a velocity time graph then there are maybe some other situations that I would like to explain so this situation is that how do we calculate displacement uh, from a velocity time graph with negative values I will use an example so let's say this object starts off with a negative 2 and then it actually uh, increases speed to negative 4, negative 6 and so on and so forth Okay, you find that the method will still apply uh, simply this, but this time now the area on the graph of velocity time graph will be bounded by the graph and the x-axis you find that this and it will be shown as uh, so this is the uh, area on the graph that we are talking about Okay, any area that is under the x-axis so anything that is having a negative value the value of this basin will be negative and this makes sense is because the object having a negative velocity negative velocity means that the object is moving in the opposite direction which would result having in a negative uh, displacement this is for you to practice so you have starting from 0 it goes up to 4 remains at flat at 4 and then increase up to 6 and change to a negative velocity of 2 maintain negative 2 and then drop back to 0 so based on this entire thing uh, will you be able to find out what is the uh, displacement of this object from at uh, 60 equals 6 seconds what you simply need to do is actually just to break down into several sections okay this is section 1 section 2 section 3 section 4 and section 5 if you add them all up okay you find that you would be able to find out uh, the displacement okay essentially if you uh, you can add up all this ABC then you subtract away D and E once you work out the answer, I will be showing you the answer next. The answer is 12 meters. So this is a summary and that concludes the end of this session.